guys ready? Yeah, we're good. Perfect. Dylan, how, how are things going in your opinion with the offense and how you're playing and everything? Um, shoot, a lot to fix, you know, on my end, and just a lot to fix in general, but that's what I love about our guys. What I love about us is just we're super crucial of the way we play and, and know how, you know, much we can with can fix and you know, get to a higher level. So we're really focused on that. Um, but just trying to get better every single day. But you just put 49 on the board at Nebraska, so things can't be all that bad. For sure. I think, you know, you can look at it like that or you can look at it as, you know, a perspective uh, of growth and how, how much points we left on the board, um, which we'll always think like that. And, and there's a lot of good things we did do, so I won't say we didn't, but um, just that next step. And I think as we focus on the next step, well, only good things can, can come from that. I asked Theo about this yesterday. Can one play like your run Saturday, can that get an offense in rhythm? I think uh, chunk plays in general. Um, an offense has to have explosive plays. Um, you know, we talk about that. And it's something that, you know, kind of changes the game for any offense or, or team in general. Turnovers, that turnover margin, uh, explosive plays, and then in the red zone being super efficient. So those are, you know, three things that, you know, you got to be on, on any team, you know, playing in the game. Is that kind of a calming situation, though, when you get out of that third and seven? It seemed like after that, everything went downhill for you guys. For sure, no. It's just uh, a, a big play and uh, momentum change in general. You know, you see uh, the crowd start to get a little quieter, and, you know, you can kind of take a deep breath, like, hey, you know what, we're, we're kind of getting into this game, and let's just take it play by play. Um, but... Any big play, I think, opens that up, and uh, you can see it across the, the nation in college football. Anything you didn't expect in the first three weeks, just your whole experience? Um, nothing I, I didn't expect, or you know, going through it. You know, for for three years, I think, you know, naturally, it's more the beginning of the season, and you know, learning each other and growing together, but not necessarily non-conference. First conference. Dylan, I don't know if we've gotten your take yet on the LED lights. What the LED from, lights? From a 7 o'clock kickoff this week. I mean, we got a little taste of it against Kent State, so that was uh, pretty unique. But, I mean, I, I can – hopefully there's some Something new type of light shows, I guess you could say, in fireworks. But, you know, if there's a lot of light shows, that means we're doing something right. So. What does that do for you guys when that happens? Um, I, I think it just makes it cooler for, you know, I mean, everyone in that, that stadium or that atmosphere, you know, the fans, the players on the field. I mean, it's just something really cool for, for everyone, I think. Thanks. Kansas State has a pretty good defense. I mean, you know, they've done pretty well, I think seven picks and things like that. Talk about their defense and what you're going up against. Yeah, they're, they're super talented. They're really good at what they do and, you know, um, just cause a lot of trouble um, to, to the teams they've played so far. So. Um, you know, we know that we'll get their best, and you know they're a really talented team. We got we got to come prepared to ready. Is it a tough schematic to go against? Um, I, I think so. I think uh, just the way they play in general is something that you know you got to come ready to play because they they come with you know a lot of effort, um, a lot of love for their university and uh, team, and shoot, it, it'll be a good game. It's taking care of the ball, obviously, is something that every quarterback's gonna be prideful of. But so, you've been really good about it here for the first three games. Is that just taking your chances where you see them? Just being super stingy with the football. Um, you know, we talk about that every day in the, in the quarterback room and just trying to continue to do that. And, um, yeah, just be smart with it. You know, not, don't do anything unnecessarily and um, throwing away the ball when you need to, not taking sacks and not putting the ball in jeopardy. Had to feel good to get Wanya back out there. Felt so good. Good to see him on the field. Um, the uh, the receiver core is so deep and so talented at so many different positions. Does everybody feel like they're getting fed right now? You know, we had ten, 10 receivers the other night. Uh, we got to see 10 different guys catch balls. I think they do, and what I love about our guys is they always want more, and that's a good problem to have. Um, so, you know, we've got to continue to, to spread the ball around and, and put our guys in space and, and let them go make plays, you know. Um, that's something they're really good at and want to continue to let them you know, go make plays and be in space. I know you read the off the defense and what where the ball should go, but is there ever a, you know, like, like after practice that you can be sitting around saying, I gotta get the ball to so and so more, spread it out to so and so this position more, anything like that? I'd say just playing in the right spot, um, taking what the defense gives me, and 
you know, like I said, it might be a running back night. It might be a outside receiver, a, a slaughter, a tight end night, or whatever it, it may be. But um, just taking advantage of, of those opportunities and, like I said, being smart with the football and putting our guys in the best position possible. As you've had the chance to watch the film, have any of your knee-jerk reactions as to your individual performance against Nebraska changed? Um, no, still crucial. I think, you know, I, I missed a couple things out there, and um, I think – You'll always miss something, you know, and nobody plays a perfect game, but um, just taking advantage of the, the big opportunities, the big plays, and, you know, dialing that in so we can continue to be super efficient, super productive, and, and put up, you know, the points you want to put up and ultimately just win a game and find ways to win. Feeling on that 61 yard run, just kind of getting healthy. You talked about how it opened up for the team, but for you oh. mentally, though, after kind of getting that out of the way and seeing a big run like that, what, what did that do for you mentally? Um, Naturally, I think it's just another, you know, points on the board, um, kind of setting the tone there, you know, after a three and out, you know, getting to that, um, kind of setting the tone moving forward and making sure we, you know, continue to move the chains and, and find ways to put points on the board. Um, but I think, you know, that was the, the start of a lot of it. So um, whoever it is, whatever it is, you know, we, we need big plays. We need uh, guys to go make plays. And at the end of the day, more points on the board, you know, those are people who win, so. There are some that don't think you're very fast. Nobody caught you for 61 yards. Yeah, everyone has the right to their opinion, and yeah, maybe I might not be the, you know, 4-3 runner, but shoot, I do what I can, and like I said, w whatever it takes to, you know, help help the team win, to win and, and lead the team to, to win and lead the guys, um, shoot, I'm here for it, and, and I'm going to do whatever I can.